Hello. Welcome to the Department of Information Technology's Pre-Proposal Conference for Consulting in Technical Services Plus, better known as CATS Plus. My name is Alicia Baltimore and I am the Procurement Officer for this solicitation. To give a brief overview, this conference will be broken down into several sections. I realize that everyone may have questions regarding this RFP, but I'd like to ask everyone to email your questions to the address listed in the key information summary sheet. The purpose of this conference is to provide information and guidance to potential offers on the requirements of this procurement. Please keep in mind that this conference is merely for guidance. Questions must be submitted in writing to me and the state will issue a response to a question and answer document. At this time, I would like to point out some of the critical areas in the RFP that require close attention. Please review the key information summary sheet. This sheet has my contact information and all the deadlines associated with this RFP. Please note, the closing date for questions is Thursday, July 14, 2016. If you intend to submit a question for the state to answer, then the question must be submitted to me by 9 a.m. on July 14th. Also, note that the proposal closing date is Monday, August 1st, 2016. If you intend to submit a proposal, then I must receive it by 2 p.m. on August 1st. Please make sure that I receive your proposal by the date and time listed. This is very important. If your proposal is late even by one minute, it cannot be accepted. There are no exceptions, so please give yourself plenty of time for your proposal to arrive. Let's discuss the MBE goal. There is a 20% MBE goal for this RFP. However, a VSBE goal has not been established. Moving on to the scope of work. The Department of Information Technology realizes that this procurement is similar to solicitations released in the past. There are 17 functional areas. Functional Area 1, Enterprise Service Provider. Functional Area 2, Web and Internet Systems. Functional Area 3, Electronic Document Management. Functional Area 4, Geographical Information Systems Functional Area 5 Software Engineering Functional Area 6 Systems Facilities Management and Maintenance Functional Area 7 Information Systems Security Functional Area 8 Application Service Provider Functional Area 9 IT and Telecommunications Financial and Auditing Consulting Services Functional Area 10, IT Management Consulting Services. Functional Area 11, Business Process Consulting Services. Functional Area 12, Tower Site Preparation. Functional Area 13, Tower Installation. Functional Area 14, Tower Equipment Installation and Services. Functional Area 15, Electronic Benefits Transfer. Functional Area 16, Media and Training Support. Functional Area 17, Documentation Technical Writing. Offers may propose to one, several, or all functional areas. The state will make an award to all offers that meet RFP requirements. Next, I want to briefly describe the proposal submission requirements. As described in Section 3.3 .3 of the RFP, all proposals shall include one unbound original and two copies of both Volume 1 and Volume 2. Volume 1 shall be clearly labeled as the technical proposal and Volume 2 shall be clearly labeled as the financial proposal. In addition, all proposals shall include electronic versions of each volume. The technical proposal and financial proposal must be submitted at the same time for the state to consider the proposal. Proposals shall be sent by mail, private carrier, or hand delivered. Remember to pay close attention to the proposal format in Section 3.4.
when creating your technical response, it should be in the same order as listed in the RFP. Staying in the same order will ensure that everything is addressed as required and it makes the evaluation go smoother. The technical volume must contain all of the required information, forms, and so forth as spelled out in Section 3.4. If all required forms are not included, your proposal may not be deemed susceptible for award. The financial proposal must contain all price information in the format specified in Attachment FA1 for Functional Areas 1 through 12 and Functional Areas 15 through 17. Functional Area 9 only requires the submission of both attachments FA1 and FA2. Functional Areas 13 and 14 require submission of cost information in the format specified in Attachment FB and FC. Complete the cost sheets only as provided in the price proposal instructions. Offers must propose pricing for all labor categories to be considered for award. Offers proposing to multiple functional areas are not required to submit a separate attachment FA1 for each functional area proposed. Only one FA1 is required. Before I conclude, please note these reminders for preparing your response to this solicitation. For an official response, all questions should be submitted to me in writing by email only. Please follow the RFP instructions and include signed copies of all required documents. All offers should be in good standing with the Department of Assessments and Taxation. All offers must fulfill their tax obligation to the federal government and the state of Maryland prior to award. Please do not send us valuable marketing materials with your response. They will not be considered in the evaluation and will be discarded. A summary of the conference will be posted online soon. Finally, please be aware that all proposals must be submitted to me by the day and time specified. Again, if a proposal is late even by one minute, it will not be accepted. Thank you, and this concludes the CATS Plus pre-proposal conference.